Shalom. Today is an important day, and I want to share with you a mystery, a secret that many people don't know and understand because we are in a very important time. Of course, this is the day that Yeshua rose from the dead. And every major event, as we've talked about before, in the life of Yeshua happened on a Jewish holiday. And the day that he rose from the dead, the Sunday morning that they found the empty tomb was empty tomb was actually a Jewish holiday on the second day of Passover, beginning in the evening. It starts the biblical holiday of Yom Habikorim, known as the day or the feast of first fruits. And it was on the first fruits that the priest would go down in Jerusalem into the fields, cut some of the beginning of the grain offering, bring it into the temple and do a wave offering before the Lord. And that was a sign that if there was a good first fruits, it was a guarantee of a later greater harvest. The rabbi and apostle Paul calls Yeshua the first fruits from among the dead because if he rose from the dead, it is the guarantee that we are going to rise as well. And that is good news because he rose from the dead. It is the guarantee that you and I are going to rise. And that means that means that we can rise above our fears, our anxieties, our situations and our circumstances. Uh, there's a lot more there, but Yeshua fulfills the Feast of First Fruits with his resurrection. But on the day that he rose, it actually began the 49-day countdown to the 50th day, Shavuot, which is known as Pentecost. We know it from the book of Acts chapter 2, but it's actually a Jewish holiday. According to Leviticus 53, uh, according to Leviticus 23, beginning on the second day of Passover, we are to do what is known as the counting of the Omer. We are to count down to the day we come to Shavuot or Pentecost because that is the day God came down on Mount Sinai. The people heard the voice of God the fire and the thunder from the midst of Mount Sinai and heard the Ten Commandments. So this is the season of the counting of the Omer, and I want to invite you to count with us. We're going to have a devotional as we count down to the every day as we count down to Shavuot, because it was during this day, during this 49-day period, that Yeshua taught the disciples for 40 days the mysteries and the meaning of the kingdom. He did it during the time of the counting of the Omer, and then he rose on the 40th day, and they prepared to receive the Holy Spirit on the 50th day. So this is a time of preparation, just like we count down towards the holidays towards our birthday because we're excited about the blessings and the gifts that we're going to get on that day. So we count down to Pentecost because that is the day that God gave two of his greatest gift, the Torah, the word of God in the, in the Hebrew scriptures and the Ruach, the, the uh, Holy Spirit in the new. So I want to invite you to count with us because when we count, it brings spiritual, it brings spiritual elevation and revelation into our lives. Yeshua is our first fruits, and that is good news for you and me. He is risen, and we know that when we see him, we will be like him. So I want to encourage you, today is a day of your breakthrough. In the name of Yeshua, our Messiah, amen.